Swati Krab, and a very good afternoon to you all. On behalf of UNICEF, an agency protecting, promoting, and upholding the rights of the child, I have a great pleasure to join this gathering at a time of early childhood care and education is receiving an unprecedented attention and also commitment across the region and also globally. I would like to convey my sincere thanks to OMAP for organizing this gathering in such an opportune time, a very pertinent theme. Since my colleague from UNESCO has really focused on global picture, let me deep dive into the Asia-Pacific region. Over the past decades, we have witnessed a great progress on early childhood education in this region. And I really want to thank all these partners, governments, civil society organization, private sector, academic institution researchers on really supporting the policy reforms and also investment. Of course, the investment hasn't reached the level Tashkent Declaration uh, highlighted that 10% uh, of the, the education budget. But also there's a growing body of evidence in the early childhood education that it's not only leading the better outcome on education for children, but also health and social emotional outcomes and overall development of, of the children. This region, Asia and Pacific, is really leading globally when it comes to early childhood care and education as part of the advancing the rights of the child. One example I can give you is the, this region, Association of Southeast Asian Nation, ASEAN. They had a meeting on early childhood care and education recently in May in Lao BDR. Uh, and so come up with, the, with, the, uh, with the, the declarations on early childhood education and also a promise to address the climate impact on early childhood care. And also, we had a recent ANEC uh, in, in May in Malaysia, and I can see colleagues from uh, leading the ANEC. So the, the region has really advances in many fronts. That would not have been possible without the full commitment, collaboration, and coordination between countries, between governments, and also our development partners, member states, NGO, CSO, faith-based organization, academic, institutions, media, and also communities and families themselves. However, there are issues remains to address uh, in early childhood uh, ed education and early childhood care. I just want to highlight four key issues in the region. One is the preschool enrollment rate, as mentioned by our UNESCO colleague, that the region claims for like 80 to 83 percent of, of enrollment which was significantly increased from 13%, one, three, 30 years ago. So in 30 years, three decades, the region has really moved 70% point in access to early childhood care and education. However, there are still children left behind, the children in marginalized communities, children with disabilities, children from very poor socioeconomic status, they are still very much left behind. So we really need to, to address those children who are left behind. Second issue that I would like to, to bring to your attention is the workforce. It's also mentioned we really need a quality ECD workforce, quality ECD teachers who are well-trained and well-capacitated and also adequately supported so they have a conducive environment to deliver their work. I think this is really a backbone of ECD. Without capable workforce, we will still have challenges. And the third issue that I would like to bring to your attention is children are still experiencing violence discipline in this region. We are talking about millions of children between age one to four years experiencing violent discipline, psychological aggression from parents, or even physical punishment. This is something that we all need to address. Earlier, our Venerable Pra Anil Sakya mentioned about how do we sow the seed of kindness, mitta, into the children and the caregivers. I think that's very important because victims later on can become perpetrators if we don't support, guide it. 
the violence perspective, something that we need to address in the region. And the final one I would like to mention for this region. This region is one of the most challenged by the climate change and environmental degradation. Many countries in this region are experiencing series of impacts of the climate change. Recently, we experienced in this region the heat waves. Many countries, they have to close down the schools because of the heat wave. Heat waves followed by heavy rains, flooding, storms, cyclones. And uh, two out of three children in this region are one way or the other experiencing at least three to four climate shocks. We have evidence that the climate and environmental degradation, they have really impact on pregnancy, early childhood. So we really need to address climate impact on early childhood. Without addressing this, our efforts in building all these capacities for ECD caregivers, providing opportunities for children will be reversed with the, with the climate degradation. In the context of climate change, we are very pleased to share some of the ASEAN, Pacific Island forums, and South Asia, the regional governments, are trying to address and transform ECD into more climate resilient for young children and their families. And also, we all know that investment in early childhood development is the most cost effective for every one dollar spent. The research show that uh, the country can really see as much as uh, $17 in return. So I think this is the most cost effective uh, investment in children. So with this gathering, I would like to urge, let's provide a comprehensive and quality support to parents, caregivers, and communities while we are working closely with the government to build the systems, the structures, the financing, and investment. We really need to empower the parents and caregivers to deliver nurturing care which is grounded in context-specific, culturally appropriate, and the knowledge that needs to be prioritized in their community. Finally, I would like to, to urge you to continue working together to ensure that every child, regardless of their background, has the opportunity to reach the full potential with the support of everyone around the room and everyone in this country, everyone in this region, and everyone globally and let's continue to collaborate to advance early childhood care and education in our region. Thank you very much.